man's body was discovered by a cleaning crew. Police say he did not have on any clothing, only wearing a mask. Fox 2's Hillary Ghostin is live tonight with more on the story. Hillary. And good evening to you, Josh and Amy. What we're learning tonight, and something anyone can find out with a quick Google search, is that this is a spot that's open 24 hours a day. Facebook is saying that this is a gym. And what we know right now with the suspicious death is that a 54 year old man was found dead inside. Police still in the preliminary stages of their investigation, but they are telling us tonight they believe this man got to the gym of his own volition. No drug paraphernalia found near him. And the general General manager had this to say. Gentleman died of natural causes. Even though the general manager says the death of a 54 year old man was natural, Detroit police are still calling it suspicious until the medical examiner makes the final call. That makes it a homicide for now. Police say it appears the man came to the body zone on McNichols of his own volition. He was found in the building and in a room in the building and we called the police. And police are still in the preliminary stages of the investigation, but here's what they know. They didn't have any missing persons reports, no signs of trauma on the man or narcotics paraphernalia. They too aren't ruling out this could be medical. The circumstances making the discovery slightly more salacious, since police say the victim had no clothes and only a face mask. One of our cleaners found him. Now, we did head to this gentleman's neighborhood and had a chance to speak with neighbors. They say that he was a quiet man, walked his dog up and down uh, the street there in front of his home. Now, the reason we're not releasing his name tonight is because the medical examiner has not yet made a positive identification, and we certainly want to wait for that so that family has a chance to be notified. Now, I did also ask police if they could look into the past three months to see if there were any calls of, for suspicious activity or any criminal activity, and they say they had none of that. In Detroit, I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.